In this question, we have Nikhil's mother who asked him to buy 100 pieces of sweets worth 100 rupees. There are three types of sweets that Nikhil can buy. They are Kaju Barfi. Let us assume that he buys K of them. Gulab Jamun. Let us assume that he buys G of them. And Sandesh. Let us assume that he buys S of them. The value of K plus G plus S is equal to 100. Because the total number of sweets he purchases is 100. We are also told that the price of a Kaju Barfi is 10. The price of a Gulab Jamun is 3. And the price of a Sandesh is 50 paise, which is 1 by 2 rupees. So, what is the total money that he spent in buying these sweets? That will be 10k plus 3g plus s by 2. This is also equal to 100. You can multiply this equation with 2. So, you are going to get 20k plus 6g plus s is equal to 200. This is the first equation. This is the second equation. If you make 2 minus 1, the right hand side will be 200 minus 100, which is 100. The left hand side is 20k minus k, which is 19k, plus 6g minus g, which is 5g, and s minus s, we are essentially cancelling s. This is what we are told. Now, what are the values that k can take? We know that k, g, and s, all of them have to be greater than or equal to 1, because Nikhil purchased at least one type, one suite of each type. And if you are looking at 19k plus 5g plus 100, in these kind of equations, here note that 100 is a multiple of 5. 5g also is a multiple of 5. This is a multiple of 5. This is a multiple of 5. So, 19k also has to be a multiple of 5. This would imply that k is of the form 5 times k1 for some other natural number k. So, if you substitute it over here, you are going to get 95k1 plus 5g is equal to 100. Divide this entire equation with 5. 19k1 plus g is equal to 20 k1 is a natural number. So, the only possibility is that k1 is equal to 1, g is equal to 1. If k1 is equal to 1, the value of k, which is 5 times k1, is 5. And the value of s, because the sum of these 3 is equal to 100, has to be equal to 94. What we are asked is the number of gulab jamun that he bought, which is equal to g, which is equal to 1. So, the correct answer is option A.